Hey, you two people. Nam, yay. I know you think Nam is so awesome, but day two, my boy's already gone. I'm here with John, who came here from Israel. Hey, John. Exactly. Hi, how are you? So you guys might have wondered in that intro to the Nam videos, on, I think, page two, there are two panels that say drop. No more than that. It looks like this. Simple, jaggedy kind of font, drop. Well, you might not know what that is because it's brand spanking new, right? It's launching later this month, by the end of January on Kickstarter, and it's going to make the change in the world, I believe. Of course he does. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? Um, and um, thank you so much for supporting the trip. Come and give me a hug. It, it, these, these trips wouldn't be possible without companies pitching in and paying for flights and hotels. And really all they get from me is, you know, pretty much a guaranteed video, no more than that. Not even a good one. <laughs> you know, this might not be a good video. When we approach you, we know who we were talking to. We're, we're good with it. Oh, what a fucker. Um, so, no, we've been talking a little bit, a little bit on email and uh, we've got a prototype of the drop here. It's not this. It's not like you don't just drop things, it's like not dropping things, but dropping them elegantly. Yeah, we, we want you to start you, to start choosing by dropping and picking it up. They don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about guitar straps. So show what it is. This is the drop. It's either metal or a very hard plastic housing. And it's got a little leather attachment. So. How am I going to put my guitar? Huh? So this attaches to your strap. This goes into your strap, like so. Is there a way to attach this more firmly than more this? Firmly, you don't need to. We've done. Or put it because I mean, I, I'd be afraid that this slips out again. Let's try. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So we had Reverend and they uh, agreed to you know, work with us and let us use their, pre pu their pu oh. beautiful guitars. I need to talk more quietly. I have a mic, why am I yelling? See, I'm trying to get into the camera, which is like over here, and um, I don't have to. This is what the microphone is for. We needed to tell you that? Yes. I'm not smart. So this thing is medium heavy. And it's gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It's a Reverend something model with a thing and another thing. It's a, Other yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So what do we do? We attach this to the back. We attach it to the back, just like we do the regular strap. Uh, say this again, because right, you're not, you're not here. First, we attach it as if it was the strap. The other side of the strap usually goes like here. And then we have it. Oh. There you go. Now, whenever I need to change my guitar position, all I need to do, even with a pick between fingers, even, even if I don't have it, I just can hold the fingers, I can open it. The mechanism holds up to 100 kilos, so no harm can, uh, can be here. You can change it wherever you need it, whenever you need it. The final product will have 20 inches stroke. That means you can have it from your knees to your neck, whenever you need it, wherever you need it. Usually the rhythm part you like to do down here, like be a rock and roll man. And then you need to go to a solo. And then you just pick the guitar. Even if you need an inch, you need five inches, you need 20 inches, wherever you need it, whenever you need it, we're there. Let me try this, give me. You hold this. Uh -huh. No, I don't have to shout. <laughs> so, the, the basic, hold, hold this in my face. Yeah, yeah. So I push on it, yeah, and that's it. Exactly from behind, yeah. Now I feel cool, yeah, you down here. I'm like, rock and roll, la la la. If you have a strap, that is more slidey, it helps. Because this, this strap it needs to be sliding along with it. Oh, this, and I'm up here. The, the main issue with the, with the product is that when you open the mechanism, the guitar doesn't drop off and it doesn't go up. Yeah, okay. It stays in midair even though the mechanism is open. And you just move it slightly to the position you need it, 
when you lift the when you lift the button, it's closed, it's locked, it can handle everything. Right now, the the downside is the non-slippery strap. Look, I got it all the way up here. That's kind of my jazzy position. That is awesome. So you grab it, you push it, make it really long, all the way down here. And we talked on email, we actually Skyped and all that. Um, I was like, this is all cool, but a lot of companies that have these kinds of ideas, they go nuts when it comes to price point. They're completely out of this world, like, oh, we have this great idea. It's 120 euro, I'm like, uh, for a piece of plastic. But you are very reasonable when it comes to price point, right? Our, our mission is to get it to every 15 year old. Okay, we, we want people to start with it when they start playing and go with it throughout their career. career. So the price point we're starting with is 29.99 US dollars and it's gonna, I believe, kill it. Yeah, 30 bucks, it's kind of like, why not get that with every strap? Exactly, exactly, that's the mission. We want it, we want you, if you have four guitars at home, we want you to have four drops at home, so you don't have to twist it and replace it, just feel free. I think it's a very ingenious product. The one strap I always used was the Dimasio Clip Locks, because they're the straps that you can grab here and go and very quickly adjust and I played them because of that. I didn't like the leather straps and all this, but now I can actually play a really nice comfy leather strap and still adjust it quickly because it's not reasonable to go with a hoop and loop or, or change holes or whatever. It's, 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 it, it's, anno time. it's a hassle. It's annoying. Yeah. Which is why I never played any nice straps, or I mean the are nice, but no leather ones or whatever. And I have, really high-end straps at home that people give me, which I now can use, of course. Uh, once I have a drop. The, the one thing that we really liked when we uh, got the idea, we want to, to keep your guitar because it fits every guitar. We want you to keep your strap because it's part of your look on stage and in, you know, it's, some, it's, it's a part of you. So it fits every strap, it fits every guitar. The uh, Dimarzio ones, we're working on the connector to fit that. Oh, so, that's way cool. Yeah, so you'll have uh, all the range, everything can go. Smart people from Israel doing stuff again. I always run into these Israelis that do cool shit. Magmal, Shabbat, this guy. So, well done. So, uh, this is a prototype. I will have it in my hands as soon as you have one. And we'll make a video, we'll put it on a couple different straps. Send me a few of them. That, you know, uh, for the video, you know. <laughs> And thank you so much for making this trip possible. That made it possible for Harry to be here. And without Harry Holden behind the camera, I wouldn't have these videos. So thank you, Harry. Check out Harry and the Guitar, best channel ever in the world, minus one. Um, and um, thanks again. Thank you very much, man. And I uh, will see you on the Flippity Flop. Uh, you will see this video with links and all that stuff. Animals at the end. <laughs>